What are we looking for? Dogs. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Burr. You know we back on Burr's Eye View with it. Like always, appreciate the love and support. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Start what you're doing. Smash the like button. Smash subscribe button. Hop in the comment section. Comment whatever you want. Of course, I'm dropping daily bangers day by day. You know we got news of the day coming out of Colorado. And we're going to jump right into it. We got Nick Marsh. He's a four-star wide receiver. He's 6'3", 200 pounds, out of River Rogue, Michigan. He's in that 2024 class. He's a top three player in the state of Michigan. He's a top 20 wide receiver in the country. He's a top 130 national player. This young man is just a big body wide receiver who's extremely physical and athletic. He displays good acceleration and top end speed. Huge catch radius, high points to football really well. He makes a lot of tough catches in traffic. You'll see that on tape. Has great body control. He's also a three sport athlete. He runs track. He also excels on the basketball floor as well. He's a very bouncy basketball player on the basketball court, man. He can really finish at the rim. Has the size and athleticism. He's a multi-sport background. I mean, he has everything that you're looking for to be a big time impact player at the next level without question. Of course, he was recently in Boulder, Colorado. He was at the USC game. Again, he is a Michigan kid. Of course, we got Brandon Davis Swain, the defensive lineman out of the state of Michigan. I believe he's from Detroit, the four-star that's already committed to this Colorado football program in the 2024 class. So, of course, you know, Brandon Davis Swain has been recruiting some Michigan guys to try to get them to come in to Colorado and commit to this program. Of course, this young man here, Nick Marsh, he is committed to Michigan State. Now, of course, Michigan State has a lot of going on right now. They have a lot of turnover going with Mel Tucker getting fired. So, you know, we're going to see exactly what transpires there. Uh, he could be possibly on high flip alert, especially when a head coach is leaving the program. He could be possibly on high flip alert. He had an interview here, and I'm going to play this clip for you guys, and then I'll come right back. What was your experience like in Boulder for Colorado's game against USC? Uh, my experience was pretty good. Uh, just going down there to a game that had over 7 million viewers was kind of crazy. Uh, being on the sidelines, just coming in the locker room, the energy, uh, the, the voices I was hearing. Uh, got to see a lot of big time people. Will you return for an official visit? We're going to try to set up an official visit uh, probably um, this month or next month, sometime soon. So mm -hmm. we're trying to get that set up. So. So as you see, man, looks like he had a really good time in Boulder. Of course, that was a picture of him and Brandon Davis Swain there. So we're going to see exactly what transpires. They got a new coach and staff possibly coming to Michigan State, and that could be a huge deal because I know he made some great connections with the current staff that's there. So if the new coach comes in and he brings in his own staff, this young man could be on high flip alert without question. And it looks like he's highly interested in Colorado. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe, man. Birds out of you.